and it still runs like butter, still runs like day one, and I use it every day. I really do. Four or five days a week, uh, hard tournaments, and it's, it's flawless, man. What's up, guys? I'm coming to you this morning because I've been thinking about the durability of fishing gear. And in particular, my casking reels. These casking reels, this one's four and a half years old, and I beat the snot out of it. It's tore up, the plastic's scratched everywhere, some of the lettering's coming off of it from all the different fish scents I use and, and that's on my hands, but the only thing I do to my reels is once a year I tear them completely down to the bare frame, oil all the bearings, and grease the ears and stuff that need grease, and put it back together. And this guy gets used every day. It's on my, it's on my main uh, Texas rig, right there, there we go, Texas. So everybody throws a Texas rig, you know, daily. And this guy gets hammered. So I'm throwing it every single day, four or five days a week. And this thing still runs like brand new, man. So if you're in any kind of question as to whether Casking's dependable stuff, Casking, will it outlast its warranty? Oh yeah, by far, it'll outlast its warranty. Because like I said, I hammer my, every single one of mine kind of look like this. Because when, especially in tournaments, when you're in tournaments, I don't mess around, man. If I if I'm switching to a different reel, I throw this thing down on the deck, you know, kind of hard. I, I I don't I don't baby these things at all. I'm very hard on stuff, and the switch to casking for dependability was one of the biggest things on my mind. And really, you don't know until you start doing it. So I trusted it, you know. And my gosh, four and a half years later, she's pretty beat up, but she runs like day one, man. And I'm not kidding. This thing runs like day one. And I only do the maintenance once a year to them. And really, every time I get in there, they look they look like they're brand new. The bearings look great. And what's really shocking me is some of the big fish, when I take this down to Florida, those bass down there are big and they're fighters. And I'm, I'm running the drag like crazy, in and out, in and out, you know, tightening it up, loosening it up. And you would think that those discs inside there those carbon fiber drag discs would look a little, at least a little wore out. They still got their pattern in it that they make when they stamp those things. It hasn't wore out at all. I mean, that drag system works like butter, just like day one. I'm telling you, the whole reel works like day one. And that's pretty shocking to me for the affordability that you can get these things at, that they actually hold up that well. Uh, especially, like I said, if you're into offshore fishing or you're doing like I am those big bass that are down in Florida I mean they are fighting the drag and for that drag discs all those things to look like brand new they still got the checker pattern in them I'm shocked man it's that's good dependable stuff man so if you're wondering about your casking gear or you're thinking about going to casking and you're just kind of curious as to if they hold up there's living proof, man, because you can look up the Assassin. They don't make it anymore. That's how old that thing is. They've moved to new models, and they don't make this Assassin anymore. And it still runs like butter, still runs like day one, and I use it every day. I really do. Four or five days a week, uh, hard tournaments, and it's, it's flawless, man. So you owe it to yourself to check out Casking, man. If you're in any doubt whether they're dependable, get one. And I guarantee you, three, four, five years later, that thing's going to still be running like like day one. I mean, like I said, when I tear mine apart, they look brand new. You don't even need to do the maintenance to them if you don't want. They're just very dependable reels. So, guys, keep those lines tight and keep it casking, man. We'll talk to you guys soon.